Good afternoon, everybody. I want to do the Dalai Lama today. The, the current Dalai Lama, which I'm not going to get into his full name because it's quite long. What I want to do is want a journey to see what's inside his heart. What is what his purpose here is for the world and what the struggle is with inside himself. Kind of like the same thing I always do when I go into an individual that is still alive. I like to go into the heart to see what is there. So I'll allow the spirits to guide my journey into that soul and show me basically what they usually show me so I can share that with you. These are fairly short journeys. They're not meant to be really long. It's to give you a perspective of a person and into a look into their heart of that individual. So I'm just going to take a deep breath in here. So I'm actually outside of a building and I'm knocking on the door. It's a stone building. I'm knocking on a, a wooden door, like a big wooden door. And I'm just knocking on this for a long time and no one, no one answers the door. So I actually sit down in front of the steps and I wait and I wait for, for two days straight. And then a man comes out outside of the temple and sits beside me. And he asked me why, what I'm doing here. And I said, I'm here to see the Dalai Lama, to see what is inside his heart. And so the old man that is there take, asked me to come walk with him. And it's, it's, this is a fairly common thing. The spirits ask you to walk with them. It's like, it's a sign of respect and it's a sign of just friendship. And we stand up and we walk. And he takes me to a creek and he says, what do you think of, of, the, of this creek? And I look into the creek and it's crystal clear and it has little fishes in it and, and has beautiful stones. And it's very narrow, it's not very deep. And obviously the fish are quite small, they're more like minnows, but some of them are a little bigger than that as well. And I say, it is beautiful. So he, he asked me, why do you think it's beautiful? Because it's clean, it's, it's, it has life, and it makes me feel at peace with inside my own heart. To listen to the water, to look into the water, to be part of nature, it actually makes me very peaceful. And he actually takes me for a walk and he takes me to it's like um, a beehive and it's like a hornet's nest actually or wasps I should say it's because it's a shape the like big shape and it's a wasp nest it's not a bees and he asked me what do I think of that and well I'm not a big fan of wasps and he asked me why because because they sting <laughs> they sting a lot they don't stop stinging and it seems to be for no apparent reason, except if you, if you, if, if you, they feel like it. Hmm. He goes kind of like the human race then, right? And I go, yeah, it is a lot like the human race. And he takes me for a walk again. And this man is the Dalai Lama. If you haven't figured that out yet, I know within my heart that it is. He appears to me as an old man with a stick walking and he just smiles at me when I say that because he knows I, I know who he is. And he walks to a field of flowers and this is, I say peace is what I first see when I see this is peaceful. This feels makes me feel at peace to see a field of flowers and the mountains and behind it very much reminds me of peace. Hmm.
So things that sting do not remind you of peace, but things of nature remind you of peace. I said, yeah. So when he says to me, how do you make the things that sting feel like peace? By stopping them from stinging. Hmm. He puts his one eye, eye, like one of his eyebrows up when I say that. And he says, how do you do that? And I said, sir, if I knew that, then I would be able to spread peace throughout the world. And he says to me that that's why he is here, to try to stop the stinging of the world and to spread peace. The best way I can. I'm just a man like you, trying to do the best you can in a world that stings. And you're in me too, he says, I love nature as much as you do, and it does bring me peace. So he says to the world, why would you destroy the one thing that gives you peace and build the one thing, the thing that stings? He asks, why would you do that? And that's the struggle within my heart, Joseph, is that I try so hard to show people peace. And I have a hard time understanding why people choose to sting instead of love. That is my struggle within my heart. And he gives me a, an actual hug and says, come back sometime and we can do a long journey together. And I said, I would like that. Thank you very much. And he walks away. And that's the only message that he wants to share in the struggle within his own heart. Wow. I am impressed with that man as well. He was very genuine loving. <sighs> Thank you very much everyone and I feel humbled by both of those people. Very different energies but very good men. I did a journey of the Pope just before this one, if you're curious, and where I, why I said both. Thank you very much, everyone. If you wish to do a journey with me, you can visit my website at www.almanrossawakening.com and you can visit my Northern Life page at josephbradleyauroras.com. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.